In the wake of a worldwide pandemic, access to digitized cultural heritage has proven more important than ever. Institutions such as galleries, libraries, archives, and museums, or GLAM, and other preservers of knowledge have opened up their inventory and vaults, allowing educators and creative minds to find moments of enlightenment and awe. These monumental digitization efforts make knowledge and cultural artifacts, tokens of our past and our modern society, visible. But this isn't just a grand and benevolent gesture. In fact, the public has every right to use and reuse its own cultural heritage, not least because public money is funding public cultural heritage institutions. We at Wikimedia Deutschland argue anything that has been significantly funded with public money must be freely available to the public. Inspired by the Free Software Foundation Europe and their campaign for a public money, public code, which started a couple of years ago, we began calling this demand öffentliches Geld, öffentliches Gut, or public money, public good. This applies to all material whose creation has been funded by public money, including, but not limited, to educational content from public service broadcasters, about which I will talk a bit more in a minute, data from government agencies, publicly commissioned studies, digitized collections from publicly funded cultural institutions, public sector software projects. If the public were to be able to freely use this material, we argue, this would have a range of societal benefits. Firstly, it would serve the common good. What is true of physical reality, such as with public parks, must also apply in the digital. Secondly, it would enable users to develop content together and share it with each other. That's how progress is made. Thirdly, it would enhance government transparency. Now that's good for any democracy. And last but not least, it would ensure that the content produced with public money would reach a much wider audience. It is this very argument that may have proved most compelling in our work on public service broadcasting, which I'd like to introduce to you now. Here, our work mainly pertains to educational programs. Our argument remains the same, however. It is all of us who fund this content through our license fees, so we should all be allowed to freely use it. Releasing educational content under a free Creative Commons license, meaning CC BY or CC BY share alike, helps fulfill the mission of the broadcasters to be societal educators. It aids teachers and students by making lessons more engaging and interactive, and it benefits free knowledge projects such as Wikipedia. And of course, it also provides enormous potential for educational content to reach a wider audience, especially through Wikipedia. And so, public service broadcasters in Germany are now blazing the trail on freely licensed educational material. Terra X and Tagesschau, the country's most prestigious documentary and news programs respectively, have been releasing content under a CC by share alike license with staggering success. The role of the Wikipedia community must not be understated in this. For years, the, vo the volunteers of Wikilove's broadcast have been working with us and other fellow campaigners to intensify cooperation with the broadcasters. They conduct workshops with the broadcasters should they signal their interest in releasing content under a free license to make sure they know how content can make its way into Wikipedia. And they sift through the video clips and check whether they meet Wikipedia's requirements. If they have identified a suitable article for which an explanatory video represents added value, they take care of the technical integration. They have been integral to the success of the two following cases. Terra X has been a long-standing documentary format since the 1980s. After years of lobbying from our end, it began releasing short videos with high production value, explaining specific topics under a free Creative Commons license. The Terra X team upload these videos to Wikimedia Commons, where Wikipedia authors and community members screen them for relevance and integrate them into the pertinent Wikipedia articles. Over 300 videos have been uploaded and integrated into Wikipedia like that. On Wikipedia, they gather over 3 million views a month, having amassed nearly 60 million views in total. The Tagesschau, German for Daily Show, is the most renowned and by far the most watched news format in Germany. A few months ago, they released 55 short animation videos under a free Creative Commons license, with many more to come. In a pilot project, eight of them were integrated into Wikipedia, and these clips, too, have been met with a lot of interest, as far as view counts are concerned. This goes to show that educational content, when released under a free license, can reach a much larger audience and have a real impact. Perhaps this is of interest to the South African Broadcasting Corporation as well. 
In any case, the SABC is also funded by public money. And while the TV license fee is about to be dropped in South Africa, the new levy will still apply to all households and businesses in the country. And the SABC even has its own channel entirely dedicated to educational content. Releasing select clips that can be used in classrooms and on Wikipedia would be a win-win for everyone. It would help the SABC reach a larger audience and demonstrate its societal value. It would improve school lessons and aid teachers, and it would be a useful addition to free knowledge projects such as Wikipedia. With those words, I thank you very much for your attention, wish you a fruitful workshop, an enlightening rest of the conference, and of course, a healthy dose of public money, public good.